Hi guys. It is turning into a beautiful morning here in the collapse of global industrial civilization and here what's left of the paradise of Garfield, Texas. And we have made it to Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Oh boy. That would be Friday, March 13th, 2020. And it is your lucky day because you have stumbled probably unwittingly into uh, Collapse Chronicles. And my name is Sam Mitchell and this is my little co-pilot, Santo Panza, doing what we do pretty much every day and that is chronicling the collapse of global industrial civilization and the planet. And since it is Friday, I'm going to do what I try to do every Friday, and that's to go over to my number one <coughs> favorite, if I can use that word, environmental news roundup from the folks over at mongabay.com. Rhett Butler and the boys and girls over there at mongabay.com who have their own YouTube channel. You should go over there and check out uh, Rhett's YouTube channel. Uh, but as long as you're here, what I'm going to do is we're simply going to go into today's, this week's newsletter for our weekly laundry list of assaults against a collapsing planet. And uh, I'm going to put this little dog down. I think he's sees some squirrely or something. And, uh, okay, Manga Bay. <clears throat> Where are we going to kick off this week? And it is, guys, it, it is really loaded this week. I'm not going to have time to get to all these stories. You need to go on Mongabay, M-O-N-G-A-B-A-Y.com and order this newsletter for yourself. Uh, we're going to start in Indonesia's Lake Poso. An evolutionary gem threatened by dam. I just had the uh, pleasure of speaking with Lier Keith last night, and we talked a lot about dams. Uh, anyway, just one more. Uh, you know, just, just one more lake out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, local fishers fear changes to the lake and river will bring an end to traditional fishing practices that sustain thousands of families, while conservationists fear disruption to a unique and ancient ecosystem brimming with endemic species. Yes, activists have tried to mount a legal challenge to halt the project, but have been told by local authorities that they must first present scientific proof that the mega dam will harm the ecosystem. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> all you can do is laugh. I guess we have the garbage truck uh, hauling off my garbage during this rant. Okay, from Indonesia to Brazil, wow, imagine this, Brazil drastically reduces controls over suspicious Amazon timber exports like Brazil ever had any control over Amazon timber exports and now uh, even that is being defanged. Forest degradation nearly doubled in the Brazilian Amazon last year, rising from about 5,000 kilom square kilometers in 2018 to close to 10,000 last year. Experts say this is likely due to soaring illegal timber harvesting and export under President Jair Bozo Nero. 
Yes. Uh, Bozo Nero's environment officials. There's a contradiction in terms. Bozo Nero's environment officials have reversed regulations that formerly outlawed suspicious timber shipments, making most such exports now <coughs> legal. Yes. Experts say that the relaxation of timber <coughs> regulations not only protects the criminal syndicates cutting the forest in Amazonia, but also shields exporter uh, Brazil and importers in the United States, the European Union, and the UK, preventing them from being accused of causing Amazon deforestation via their supply chains. Yes, activists fear overturned timber, timber export regulations will embolden loggers who will escalate invasions onto indigenous and traditional lands as well as within protected conservation units. More than 300 people have been assassinated uh, over the past decade as the result of land and natural resource conflicts in the Brazilian Amazon. And of course that number is getting ready to skyrocket. Open season has been declared on indigenous defenders of their ancestral homelands. Uh, okay, we're going to uh, head over to Pap Papua New Guinea. Uh, good Lord. <clears throat> Just in case you're not aware of this, Papua New Guinea's government, you know, this is all part of the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative, plans to build more than 3,000 kilometers, otherwise known as about 2,000 miles of new roads between now and 2022. And uh, so Manga Bay uh, has sent a couple of reporters to drive down some of these new roads out there in the middle of nowhere in New Guinea to uh, see what that means for that uh, Garden of Eden. <clears throat> okay, we were just mentioning the, the uh, ramping up genocide uh, taking place in Brazil. And here we have NGOs charge Brazil's Bozo Nero with risk of indigenous genocide at the UN. At a session of the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva, indigenous people from Brazil, along with environmental organizations, told the international community that the policies of Jair Bozo Nero in office since January of 2019 are resulting in a dangerous escalation in invasions of indigenous reserves in the Amazon and across Brazil. Yes, they especially emphasize impacts on uncontacted and isolated groups whose territories are being rapidly deforested by illegal miners, loggers, and other intruders of conserved indigenous lands while the government stands by and simultaneously dismantles indigenous protections. Yes. Uh, meanwhile, the Arms Commission, a human 
rights body is sending a petition to the International Criminal Court demanding an investigation into Bozo Nero's attacks on indigenous human rights. Uh, deforestation in the worst affected indigenous territories has saw an 80% 80% increase since Bozo Nero uh, took control of the range. Uh, <clears throat> the Arms con Commission and a new report assert that Jair Bozo Nero's administration's socio-environmental policies are putting indigenous peoples at risk of ethnocide and putting isolated groups at risk of flat-out genocide. That is exactly what uh, Bozo Nero is doing with <clears throat> the full support of Donald Trump. You better believe that Donald Trump is an absolute um, bosom buddy of Jair Bozo Nero. Did you hear the report not mentioned in Manga Bay? I guess one of Bozo Nero's henchmen was um, met up with Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago uh, last week returned to Brazil and came down with the C word after meeting Donald Trump became infected with the C word so there is some good news from the C word front anyway <clears throat> let's move over from Brazil to Peru Complaint alleges oil company left Peru community's environment in ruins. Hmm, imagine that. <clears throat> Indigenous communities and human rights organizations contend that Plus Petrol, which is Peru's uh, planet-eating arm of big oil, violated a whole set of business and standards issued by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Yes, the complaint says the company has avoided paying taxes and has failed to address damage to the environment in the Peruvian Amazon caused by its oil drilling activities through 2015. The groups allege that the release of toxic heavy metals into the water supply have caused innumerable health problems for community members, not to mention the non-human uh, citizens of those rivers being poisoned. Uh, God. All right, three cheers for the indigenous men in Indonesia for vandalizing heavy equipment after a com confrontation with a company of illegally logging their ancestral land. Of course, what that got them was uh, prison. Uh, yes, uh, this case is just the latest in Indonesia in which local authorities have opted to pursue criminal charges against communities mired in land disputes with companies. You know, this, this, this story being repeated thousands of times all over the planet whenever there is a dispute between indigenous land defenders and multinational corporations, uh, take a wild guess 
who is going to be labeled the criminal. It is the indigenous people fighting to preserve their land base. Uh, this is exactly what, you know, one of the main platforms of Derek Jensen and Lear Keith and uh, Deep Green Resistance. Uh, the criminals are in charge uh, of the jail. Uh, the monkeys are running the zoo and the foxes are guarding the hen house. You try to go up against these planet eaters, you will be lucky if you just end up in prison and do not get a bullet through your head, uh, which is becoming more and more likely as uh, the planet eaters just pull out all the stops. Now, th this, this next one, uh, t talking about... Uh, you know, you can't win for losing. So anyway, now this story is looking at red, the red panda trade. And uh, it, 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 anyway, trying to distill what this story is talking about, uh, showing that we have entered the twilight zone. Unbelievably, there is not a market for red panda. Or it is... A, a very small market, but these wildlife cops, you, you know, trying to crack down on the illegal wildlife trade, you know, going undercover as wildlife buyers. So now these, these poachers think there is a market for Red Panda, and, and the only people they're selling dead red pandas to are the undercover sting operators. Are, are, are you following me? That, uh, the, 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 you guys, the, there, there's no way out. Uh, anyway, this could turn into an entire video. Good Lord, guys, and I'm skipping over a lot of these stories. Uh, oh, yeah, I, 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 I love these hopium. This might be the hopium headline of the week here. Well, we got two in a row. Which one of these is the Apocaloptimist hopium-soaked knee slapper of the week? Here we have in Afghanistan... In Afghanistan, a new national park carries hope, carries hope for conservation and peace. Okay, that's contender number one for the knee slapper of the week. Next to that one is PepsiCo. PepsiCo renews renews its sustainable palm oil policy to close supplier loopholes. Yes, PepsiCo has updated its palm oil sustainability policy to require all of its suppliers to commit to ending deforestation, conversion of peatlands and worker exploitation. Yes. Uh, I guess they're trying to close a substantial loophole that meant PepsiCo could not guarantee it was not sourcing non-sustainably produced palm oil. Uh, yeah, so anyway, guys, in case you are not aware of this, there is no such thing as sustainable palm oil. The very notion of sustainable palm oil is a sick, twisted joke. 
I know this, you know this, PepsiCo knows this, and Rhett Butler knows this. Uh, as I say every week, Rhett Butler is one of my heroes. Why he continues to give voice to these lying, greenwashing, uh, b multi billion dollar planet eating corporations, I do not get it. Anyway, let's get back to reality. I'm assuming we're going over to Sub Saharan Africa, yes, Kenya. Huh. Poachers kill two rare white giraffes. Poachers have killed two rare white giraffes in Kenya, according to a group that worked to protect them and their habitat. Uh, this is a mother giraffe and her calf were found dead. Uh, there you go. The population of wild giraffes, whether spotted or white, in Africa is in deep decline due to hunting and habitat loss. Okay, I guess uh, this is just pretty much anywhere on the planet. Record high tree cover loss driven by agriculture. Hmm. New data reveals record breaking global tree cover loss for 2016 through 2018. In 2018 alone, the area of tree cover loss was larger than the UK and agriculture continues to drive tree cover loss globally and in the tropics while forestry and wildfires drive forest loss in North America. Okay, let's look at the U.S. economy. <clears throat> U.S. economy will take the biggest hit if we continue with business as usual. New research finds that if humans carry on with business as usual and the environment degra environmental degradation that results, we will pay a steep price, quite literally. Researchers found that if we simply continue under the status quo, the global economy will lose at least $479 billion per year, adding up to nearly $10 trillion in losses by 2050. Yes, of the, four, of the 140 countries included in the study, the United States stands to take the biggest economic hit. There you go. What is the definition of business as usual? How about intense consumption of energy and raw materials, widespread land use change, ongoing rises in greenhouse gas emissions, and continued loss of biodiversity. Okay, and we're going to go down to the Dominican Republic looking at some big fight over some uh, new hotel that a Spanish hotel developer wants to build on protected coastal land in the Dominican Republic. Uh, environmentalists say they fear that allowing the resort development to go ahead in what was at one time part of Cota Banana National Park could open the door to more developments 
along the pristine beachfront. Do you think so? Here's another uh, Hopium Apocaloptimist headline showing up. Conservationist cautiously optimistic after Bolivian government changes hands. Yes, cautiously optimistic that getting rid of one planet eater uh, from the Bolivian government is going to change the situation. Oh, uh, back over to the Philippines. The fight goes on for opponents of a Philippine mine. A permit to establish the largest copper mine in history in the Philippines was supposed to have expired yesterday on March 12th, but will instead remain valid for another 12 years thanks to an under-the-radar extension granted to the mine by the government. Do you think so? Uh, the giant copper mine will displace some 4,000 indigenous people who have ancestral claims to the land as well as pollute local rivers and destroy thousands of acres of forest and farmland. Here we go. We have another uh, apocaloptimistic headline. Drones in the Canopy Project aims to save the Amazon with technology. Oh yes, but guys, I'm just going uh, anyway, let's just touch on a few more headlines. Uh, I already mentioned this in an earlier video this week. Oil and gas project threatens Brazil's last great block of Amazon forest. Let's see, uh, we have another mass vulture death from poisoning in Sub-Saharan Africa. Here we have another uh, bunch of Indonesian ad indigenous land defenders ending up in prison after a fight with a pulpwood giant. Uh, how about... Uh, as temperatures rise, meerkat pups feel the heat this is climate change taking out the meerkats that habitat destruction and the bushmeat trade hasn't already taken out. Uh, how about Amazon, meaning Amazon Corporation, Versace, and Samsonite are among the companies listed as deforestation laggards. Okay, and we're going to wind up with this study that we've... Uh, <clears throat> just the latest research. Tropical forest may flip into carbon sources sooner than feared study finds. An expansive new study traced the growth of 300,000 trees over three decades in Africa and the Amazon. 
and compared how forests on the two continents were faring. Uh, then they look at how how carbon uh, absorption dropped from 46 billion tons in the 1990s to 25 billion tons in the 20 teens if this trend continues which it will uh, and these tropical forests turn into net carbon sources as they will it will accelerate climate change which in turn will be detrimental to the health of these forests kicking off a downward spiral. The study also found that forests in the Amazon are weakening as a carbon sink even faster than those in sub-Saharan Africa. And we can thank Jair Bozo Nero for uh, making the news out of Brazil even worse than the news out of uh, sub-Saharan Africa. But guys, if you enjoyed uh, what Rhett Butler and Manga Bay had to tell you, please uh, spend a few seconds thumbing up this video. If you did not enjoy what Manga Bay had to tell you about the state of the planet this week, you can thumb it down and please subscribe to Collapse Chronicles when you're over here and do look out uh, for my interview with Karen Schrag coming out on Sunday. It is a good one and the interview with Lier Keith should be ready for publication by next Sunday. So please, if you want to hear more of news like this and these interviews, please subscribe to Collapse Chronicles while you're over here. And other than that, get out there and enjoy this collapsing planet while you still can because this house of cards is coming down faster than previously thought. So you better get out there now and enjoy it while you still can. Bye, guys.